Yeah, somebody, somebody's asked me to do a video about how to attach a uh, the line onto the end of a whip. So uh, I thought, all right, why not? I'll give it a go. Now all, all my whips have um, like a plastic Stonfo connector glued onto the end. I just find it a little bit easier, a bit less of a faff to uh, to do it that way. But this chap has asked me to show how to attach with two pieces of silicone. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't have a flick tip whip, but I do have a carbon stemmed pole float here. So I'm going to use that in uh, instead of a whip. Basically, first of all, you need to take about a centimetres long piece of silicone there we go it's about a centimetre long there and just slide that on usually a little bit of spit helps it go on there you slide that onto the whip there we go that you slide it up the up from the tip onto the whip, probably I don't know three inches or so. And then you get your line. I've got a bit of heavy uh, Maxima line here, just so you can actually see it really. And you tie double overhand loop so you loop it round and then pass it through once and then twice and you probably want that loop to be about inch and a half about four centimeters long just bite that bit off and then you tie another loop with the loop so again double overhand loop so through the hole twice and tweak that one up towards the end so it's not very big I hope you can kind of see that in focus it's, it's about a centimetre that little loop there so now you've got two loops and then the main line coming off down here. Then you need to I've got to think, you need to slide a bit of silicone onto the line, don't you? So now this bit of silicone needs to be a bit bigger. I reckon three centimetres long. Just goes onto the line below. Next, you need to get the line below the loops in between the silicone and the loops, twizzle that around on itself to form a loop there, and then you pass that through the big loop so you've got an arrangement like that now that loop that's sticking up through the other the big loop that you've tied goes over the whip behind the silicone that's on the whip tip and then you pull that tight that's sliding around a bit that one and then you just whip, you twizzle that down, just turn, turning the whip, and it will coil the line around the tip of the whip. That gives it a bit of grip, basically. And then the other three centimeter long piece of silicone just goes onto the end of the whip itself. And there you have it. And that is how to attach line onto a whip with silicone. 
Now the reason for doing the two loops is when you take the kit off, the rig off, you just pull that undone and when you grab a hold of the little loop and pull it, that opens up that loop again and it all comes off. And then you can put that lock back on to your, uh, your pole winder. Anyway, I think the chap's name was Paul, I might be wrong, and <laughs> I do apologise if it isn't, but that's how you do it.